hi guys welcome back to the channel so on today's video we'll be talking about sensitive skin if you have sensitive skin you have a friend who has sensitive skin please do well to share this video to them and you know please watch till the end so guys if i see this face for the very first time i am juliet i do all things skincare and the general lifestyle vlog so please do well to subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified whenever i post new videos on this channel to my returning subscribers thank you guys you know like just thank you guys <laughs> okay so now we're diving right into the video so like i said earlier we'll be talking about sensitive skin today if you have sensitive skin that's what we're going to be doing today so first of all i like to give all the products first before giving out the tips first or should i give all the tips first before the products first yeah any one of them will go sharp but please just do us watch the video to the end so first off we'll be talking about facial wash if you're looking for a facial wash as a person that has sensitive skin a facial wash that are mildly scented stroke non-scented yeah that's those are the kind of facial wash you'll be looking for because fragrances tend to irritate those with sensitive skin so one of these products i'll be giving for facial wash is a simple hydrating facial wash the simple products are kind of like you know mostly formulated for those with sensitive skin because their products have very mild ingredients like the ingredients are very very mild they are not like harsh so those with sensitive skin can actually use this the simple hydrating facial wash and there's another one CeraVe hydrating facial wash also sensitive skins can actually use this facial wash and if you can tolerate mild fragrances you can go for scent eyes facial wash but there are some people that cannot tolerate any fragrance at all but if you can tolerate mild scented um, products you can go for this and I have special wash that one is also nice so then for face tuners if you're looking for face tuners if you're looking for face tuners that does not contain alcohol like alcohol doesn't go well with those with sensitive skin at all so you'll be looking to eliminate everything that contains alcohol in all of the products yeah so for face tuners you can actually go for the Nivea 3 of micellar water you can actually use that and the simple has a tuner also simple facial tuner you can actually use the simple facial tuner like i said earlier simple products are like you know there they've been standing by the sensitive skin guys for a very long time <laughs> and there's another one that is alcohol free that you can actually use is the thayas i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right or i don't know that but that one also is alcohol free and then those with sensitive skin that can actually use it then now is the face serum yeah yeah face serum all this face serum that you see in the market people are doing 10 step 20 step it is not for those with sensitive skin no? <laughs> it is not for those with sensitive skin so if you look for any um, face serums you'll be looking for hyaluronic acid yeah looking for hyaluronic acid to use that will hydrate your skin and for those with sensitive skin some of them tend to acquire um, to accommodate vitamin C that is in they can actually use vitamin C but some of them that are highly sensitive cannot use vitamin C products so if you are not highly sensitive you can incorporate vitamin C um, tuna and um, serum into your skincare routine but you cannot you will not do it once you start using it maybe like one day in two days off or one day in one day off so that your face your skin will kind of like adjust to it so that it will not irritate you and if you want to use any vitamin C products you go for those products that are below 10 percent you cannot go for products that are higher than 10 percent they have higher than 10 percent vitamin c content in them you cannot use that so you have to go for your hyaluric acid you can activate um like i said the vitamin c to try it out but you know it's more soon before you go up there then for facial moisturizers facial moisturizers also you can look for those that will hydrate your face you can either go for the gel or you can go for the cream excuse me then one of these is the simple uh, facial moisturizers like i said earlier simple products that are there goki berry you can actually use goki berry cetaphil ceraville sebamed you can actually use all these products because they are you know like formulated for sensitive skin those they're just there for sensitive skin you can actually use them then now i'll go for body lotions you can actually use the e45 body lotion you can use use serene E45 is not that scent, it's not that highly scented, so you can actually use E45. Uh, you can use Eucerin, 
you have damaged skin you can actually go for the day serene skin healing stuff i've forgotten the name of the picture so you guys can see it then you can go for CeraVe and you can go for Avignon Avignon has been there for like ages for those sensitive skin Avignon, Sebamed, Cetaphil they have been there so you can actually use either one of them CeraVe, Eucerin, Avignon E45, Vaseline Intensive Care also is for those with sensitive skin. Then you have no skin relief, like I said earlier, you can actually use it. Then now for body scrubs, yes, body scrubs. This body, these tips I'll be giving for this body scrub is for like everybody, like everybody. If you want to scrub your body, you want to exfoliate, you will do that after taking a bath, after washing yourself with your soap and your sponge. That is when you will now use your body scrub. And please, and please, they said body scrub. You can, you will not change your skin. <laughs> Don't scrub it too much. Don't overdo it so that you will not wound yourself. So it, this is just for everybody. It's pretty for those with sensitive skin. You take your bath first before using your body scrub so that you will not irritate your skin. Is that we need to irritation and all this type of irritation and all that stuff. So please don't do that to yourself. Then body scrub. You can actually use any body scrub of your choice. And you look for those that are, you know, like my other center. But most of all these body scrubs in the market they are like highly, highly, highly scented. So you can actually make yours at home using your coffee or your brown sugar. Yeah, you can actually do that on your own. Then for sunscreens, sunscreen. Seravi has sunscreen that's can be used by those sensitive skin. Eucerin has, uh, Avignon has. These ones they can actually be used by those sensitive skin. Then all these other um, um, sunscreens in the market, you can actually try them because it's not as if you just know the one that will actually work for you and that will not irritate your skin. You have to try them. You have to like keep trying to know the one that will be suitable for your skin before you can actually stick to that one and make it easy. So that is it for all the products. So now, time for the tips. If you have sensitive skin, eh, you see people doing 10 steps, 20 steps skincare routine. They rub and rub and rub and rub and rub. Please don't try it. <laughs> don't try it. Just have to simplify your skincare routine. Simplify it to the minimum because you will, but when you're using all these products, you will not even know the one that's irritating yourself. So you just have to simplify this, your, your routine. Then know your ingredients. Avoid harsh ingredients. Avoid highly scented products. Avoid alcohol. I've said this before. Avoid alcohol, highly scented products, and harsh products. Like all these BHAs, AHAs. If you want to use them and you have sensitive skin, you want to try it out, please do a patch test first. By patch test, you all know what patch test is. You have to try it out first. Either here or here. You try it out first. After 48 hours, if it does not irritate this part of your body, you can actually use it on your face. And why is it you are using it on your face also? You have to like, you know, like I said earlier, start small, small. Maybe today, do today, three days, four days later, don't do or you do this week, the next week you do again so that you not irritate your skin. Or doing it and giving it space is just for your body to like you know, remove so that is it then stay moisturized sensitive skin because you don't know the product that you use then you will not stay moisturized and your body will scratch you and when you scratch redness will come irritation will come so you have to stay highly moisturized let your skin be hydrated at all times moisturize at all times then always apply spf like spf is you know like a must for everybody but always apply spf because when you have some bone, you have to start treating again soon. That's what always have like SPF. Then stay away from hot water. Hot water is not for everybody. <laughs> hot water is not for everybody. Please stay away from hot water. Stay away from hot water. And for those that have dry skin, also, you are battling with dry skin and you're using hot water to beat. You are just doing you are doing one step forward, two step backward. Stay away from hot water. Hot water tends to irritate the skin. Then hot water tends to dry out the skin, which is not good. So and also, if you're looking for products, like make sure your skincare products has like hyaluronic acid and ceramides in them. So that is it, guys, for today's video. I will see you guys in my next video. Please give this video a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe. Thank you, guys.